The armed forces of Ukraine already use Quantum Systems Vector Reconnaissance Drone. This information was officially confirmed by Florian Seibel, CEO of Quantum Systems. Germany does not say the amount of vector ordered by Ukraine. However, Berlin announced that what Ukraine is using is not the entire amount ordered. Most of it is currently being produced. Vector is a drone that can convert from fixed wing to rotorcraft, the company says. No matter which version the UAV is in, it takes off vertically. It is a reconnaissance drone with a wingspan of 2.80 meters and a weight of just over 7 kg. The Quantum Systems drone is powered by three electric motors, two in the front and one in the back. It is the rear engine that is a key factor in the drone's cruising speed. After the vertical takeoff, the drone begins to fly horizontally after all three motors rotate 90 degrees. It can stay in the air for just over 30 minutes and flies at a maximum speed of 50 km per hour. A variety of optical and infrared sensors are available for the payload in a gimbal observation capsule. Quantum System says that Vector is an autonomous device. It can collect and transmit data. There are integrated systems with artificial intelligence as well. Vector is easily portable, it folds into a bag and one person can carry it. Vector deploys in just two minutes. The ground system is integrated into a tablet computer and, together with the mission software, allows full control of the aircraft, storage of all data obtained with the sensors, and initial assessment. With an additional long-range ground station, the range of the system can be extended to 25 kilometers. The training provided by Quantum Systems is no more than four days. The company says it already has Ukrainian vector pilots trained, and that more will be trained. The order for an undisclosed amount of vector reconnaissance drones for Ukraine has been funded. The company does not say who exactly finances the production. However, the company hinted that the federal government is funding the production. Due to the emergency situation on the ground and thanks to the support of the Federal Ministry of Defense, we were able to receive the order from Ukraine very quickly and fulfill it. This applies not only to financing but also to the coordination of training and the export license. Solidarity with Ukraine and the defense of our common democratic values led to a much faster process than would normally have happened, says Florian Seibel.